row over the next five weeks because you only play on Saturday pretty much for the next month or so. We're going to grow a lot. I mean, this is something where you look at the schedule and see that we're only playing on Saturdays for the next five weeks. We have a full week to prepare, but also just a full week to get better at the things that we need to as a team individually. I think it's a great schedule for us, and then you kind of get to have that game on Saturday to cap it off. But the fact that we get a whole work week the next five weeks, I think you'll see big jumps in our team this week. Yeah, he wants me to keep using my left hand more. There are some that I should have shot left today and some that I just shoot left but didn't go in. So that's just something I'm going to keep working on just so teams can't sit on my right hand. Because then if I'm going each way, it's just tougher than the garden. I think you played 37 minutes today. Did you feel worn down or anything at the end, or did you still feel pretty good? No, I felt good. I felt good. I think the coaches do a great job of making practices harder than anything that we could experience in the game as far as your conditioning going up and down. So when you get to the game, your legs should feel fresh. You still should feel strong out there. And that's what I felt like. I mean, they pushed us a lot in practice this week, so I felt good. Reed. changes a lot. I mean, he just disrupts the other team's offense and puts them in an uncomfortable situation. So it helps us a lot knowing that there's a guy on the point that's up there just making the point guard think, and it makes our jobs easier. So it's nice when he can come in and just provide that energy. What does he do? How does he do it, Reed? How does he do this disrupting and having the opponent thinking instead of playing? One, he's very gifted. I mean, he can move his feet really quick has good hands as far as trying to get steals and things like that. But I'd say the biggest thing is he just takes a lot of pride in defense. I mean, most guys kind of just play defense, and it's tough. I mean, we're, we're putting them in a tough situation where you're guarding other team's point guard, sometimes 94 feet. He's picking them up, sliding with them, trying to get steals, trying to do things like that. But I will say it's the fact that he puts the effort in and he has pride about shutting down the other guy and just disrupting them. Was that 